All right, guys, here's my 2024 Lonco setup. Here's my uh, John Deere E130. It's got 470.9 hours since I purchased it in September of 2021. Uh, it's got the brakes, 22 horse. It's <laughs> worked great. It's been awesome, reliable. Uh, I find they work better, Briggs especially, if you take care of them. They're a little bit higher maintenance, but not really. As long as you take care of them, they should they'll last long. Uh, here is my Echo CS310. 2012 that's perfect slow saw but i mean that's about the lowest saw that echo makes the lowest powered the gas saw and we go over here we got a machine daiwa 352s it's like 35 cc saw it's awesome you can do a lot with that thing i don't do big stuff but for big limbs stuff that's big around it it does well uh, and we got my echo hc 152 2012 model if you remember, in last year's or the year before, I think, I had another unit. Uh, it was the Ryobi uh, head trim. I've had this all along, but that unit doesn't work anymore. I got it for free, but I got, had that pull saw attachment, weed eater attachment, but it doesn't really work anymore. It was a four cycle anyway, so it's kind of tough to use it for what you want to do with weed eater and pull saw things. Uh, here you go here, you got my Manus Tiller. Nothing real fancy, perfect for raised beds. I do that for some customers that have those. They have me come tell them whenever they're gonna plant a garden. Uh, here is my, Subaru. this is a Subaru EX21, seven horsepower uh, power washer. It's branded as home light, but the home light part is just the frame. That's That's been really awesome. I, uh, I use it a lot in the summer and spring late summer especially when it gets hot and dry and uh, start power washing when mowing slows down so that that's been really handy uh, and we'll go over here to my mower my push mowers here we've got the uh, Honda HRN 216 and it's a good great machine I've had this for going on two and a half years almost two and a quarter basically and it's done a lot of work you can see the back tires are basically bald, but it's held up really well. I do some big yards, big backyards that I can't get my rider into, but it gets the job done. Most of what I do use the uh, E134, but there are some areas where I can't get to, so got that push mower in it. It works great. It, um, it gets the job done it almost has the same probably a little it's a lot less but it gets about the same amount of use every day almost a little bit less though than my rider uh anyways i got the roto stop on this the throttle which is great for if you bag you don't have to keep restarting then we'll go over here to <laughs> good old reliable uh the old honda hr194 it needs new rings. It runs good, but it smokes really bad at first. Uh, it, it, I probably just need to get a new block for it because it's got some issues with a crack up here on where one of these bolts goes into. And it, the block didn't crack, but where the bolt goes into, it's cracked. And so I'll probably just have to get a new block uh, for it. And uh, I'm just going through my blowers here. Which this obviously changes a lot with me, but uh, this has been here for a long time, and this has to. This is my go-to blower. Um, a lot of the places I work at have flower beds, a lot of flower beds, or just areas where a backpack blower is kind of just going to get in the way. But you can get this in behind bushes and under, and it works good for that. So that's. It's really my go-to. I could be using like an 80 or 90 10, but because I do some big yards, they're around a third, half half an acre to an almost an acre, most of what I do. Uh, and then we got, I got this for free actually. This one's from 2017. This one's a year or two later, 2018, yeah. And, uh, but this one, it has more of the 2520 over the 250, but I try to switch them out more and more because 
I put so many hours on this I and mean, you can see the plastic is the orange is light orange compared to when you get it when it's new or hasn't been used much it's got that dark orange you've got my uh, PB 580T which I bought this probably 2018 or so and so I use this and I got like an overgrown yard doing a lot of yards at once or uh, I've you know in the fall if I do have some houses that are like three or four in a row so when it's fall you gotta blow all the leaves out and you can go house by house you got a bigger fuel tank and that works really good but I, I, I really find myself I don't use that that use a backpack blower as much as I use use my handhelds even more then I will come over here to the meat eaters we've got this is the one right there that started the business 2012 but as a kid I first started mowing before I even had a mowing business I ran over the head of this and it was weird for a long time. It worked. It worked really well for many, many years. And then I finally said, I'm going to replace that head with this Ryobi pole saw piece from the Ryobi I used to have. Uh, so I put that on the end. It works great for just limbs that are just a little bit taller than what you can get with your hand saw. Or you don't want to get a ladder out. Or use a manual pole saw. But you got something you need a little help with. That, that's... <laughs> modification I did but anyways uh, we got a 2010 SRM 225 it's got just as much hour as many hours as this uh, 2620 the 2620 probably has more reality uh, this one's probably pushing eight nine hundred hours or more um, you can see the top of the plastics getting faded it's 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 held up really well uh, still day-to-day day-to-day use when i need it i mean it's it's going multiple yards in big yards lots of weed eating so uh anyways i'm gonna show you guys i don't have it hooked up to my tacoma right now but uh yeah i'm gonna use the haul this is 2022 tacoma uh anyways i bought this trailer about 13 months ago may of 2022 may or june it was i think it was june but uh it's so really good I put my rider up here I drive it on front wheels there back wheels here and the reason i have these boards here is i kind of i could have bought wood but i said well sometimes i might be moving this trailer around by hand but really don't do that that much but i bought it with the mesh floor which it's doing just fine i find it's doing better now that i put these uh piece of plywood over the top it prevents it from you know how mesh trailers do they ream out and bend and so i put this on there so that's that's helping keep it keep the floor alive longer and if it ever does get bad and the trailer frame's still in good shape i can always just throw more wood on here or just go and buy some lumber and then just put a wood floor on here but uh yeah i got i mean obviously when you get it though it's bare bones it's just a gate a trailer a tongue. I had to put this jack on here. Got all my locks up here. Uh, you know, it just comes with lights, safety chains. That's it. Had to buy the spare tire separately. Um, but uh, I need to get a cover for this tire. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. I mean, nothing too fancy I've got, but this is what I use. Take care of about twenty. 25 lawns on a regular basis uh so this this is my setup guys so anyways oh one more thing i was gonna add is that lately when it gets slow i mean now we're getting some rain which is rare in texas in july this is very weird season um it's kind of been never ending which is not something to complain about but the mowing has been going and going and going and going but uh it kind of slowed down uh this week for mowing I have a little less, but most of the work I do is in one in this neighborhood, grown up in. I do have, quite, I have several accounts outside of this neighborhood now, but most of the work I do is then. So if it's just around here, uh, when I've got it, if it's real close together, which it all is, or I don't have much work to do, 
I'll just go back to my old setup, not load up the truck and trailer, because sometimes, you know, I only have just a few to do one day or something. Uh, but just got, just use my rider, my trailer, and got some gas cans in it right now. But I'll put my one of my weed eaters, blowers, have a toolbox, and just have a can of uh, mixed gas. So that's otherwise, yeah, that's my setup. I mean, nothing too fancy, but that's me working solo. So, anyways, guys, that's that. We will talk to you guys later. Bye.